everyone and welcome to my July favourites. Every time I have to say the month I always try and think what month are we in now. Sometimes I think I've said it wrong but anyway, July favourites. So these are just the products that I've been loving all month and I am pre-recording this so you will kind of see this later on. But I have got quite a few makeupy things here but I think I'll start with the kind of bigger things first. The first thing is a self tanner and it's been really really warm so I have been wearing dresses and things and shorts and that requires a little bit of self tanning but this is the make believe self tan lotion with bronzer and I've been using this loads it gives a really really lovely um, colour it's very very natural it's not super dark it's not super orange and it just kind of gives you that little bit of a natural glow but at the same time it's got really nice coverage for a tan if that makes sense and I've got a full review of this up so I will link that down below if you want to go and a look at that then the next thing is a bubble bath and I have been really, really loving this and I'm sure I've mentioned this before because this is a repurchase but this is the Radox Eastern Spirit um, Limited Edition Bubble Bath and this has, says that it's got Oriental Lotus Flower and Orange Blossom in it and it really smells like Orange Blossom and it's one of those really fragrant bubble baths. It's just got that kind of really lovely, sweet but not sickly scents and I really really like this. I've gone through tons of these and I will continue to buy them and they're especially nice when it's warmer like now. And then the next thing is a candle and this is by Kringle Candles and this is their warm cotton candle. I've kind of burnt this halfway now but again really really nice summer candle because I know a lot of people only burn candles during the winter. I burn candles all year round because I just love them. And this is a really lovely kind of clean, it just smells like clean washing basically. It's that type of fragrance. So if you like those types of things, definitely check that out. And Kringle Candles do some really, really good um, scents as well. And then pretty much everything in here, apart from one item, is going to be makeup so I'll do that last but this is the Aveeno moisturising cream oil and this is really lovely I've been using this all month in the morning just because it sinks into your skin really quickly and it leaves a kind of nice finish to your skin it's kind of not tacky but your skin just looks really healthy you can buy these in boots I believe and it's got how much is in here 300 ml so it's a nice size pump applicator and it smells lovely and then moving on to the makeup things, I'll start with kind of base products first because I've got two of those. The first thing I've been really, really liking is the Boots Botanics BB Radiant Youth Hydration. No, there's no hydration in here, I don't know why I said hydration. The BB Cream Radiant Youth. This is like the fifth video I filmed today, I'm kind of pre-recording, so if I'm confused, that's why. But this is really, really nice. And for a BB cream to impress me, it has to be something special because I don't like BB creams. There, I've said it. I know it's a big taboo in the beauty world, but I don't like BB creams. I just don't feel like they do much for my skin. The tones of them are always a little bit off and I just really, really don't get on with them. But this is really, really nice. And I wouldn't have bought this personally purely because as I said I don't like BB creams but I got sent this as it's a new launch and it is absolutely lovely. I've got it in the shade medium. I'm wearing it on my skin today actually and it doesn't cover everything but it's just a nice kind of summer product because it doesn't give your skin that much coverage but it just evens everything out and it's got a really nice finish. The packaging of it I think is really nice as well and I believe they sell this for £9 but I'm not sure if it's out yet, so if it is, definitely pick one of these up because it's lovely. And then the next thing I've been loving, and I've got a full review of this which I'll link below, is the 17 On The Spot Foundation, which looks like this. And I've got this in shade Honey. This has got SPF 15, they say it's full coverage, it's not, but I won't go into it too much because as I said, I've got a full review of it if you want to go and have a look at that. But this is really, really nice. It gives a really pretty finish. Um, lasts well, but doesn't look cakey for the summer. And it's supposed to kind of help treat any acne or any problem things that you might have going on with your skin. So that's really, really nice. And I definitely would recommend this. And it's really inexpensive as well. I think it's about £6. Then two mascaras I've been loving this month. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's been up with me lately. I've just been buying loads of mascaras. This is the collection um, 
Mascara Lash Mascara. I did a full kind of video about mascaras I like and mascaras I don't. These were both in the category of ones I like, so I'll link that below if you want to go and have a look at that. But this is really, really nice. It's one of those kind of lengthening natural lash mascaras, which are always pretty. And then the cult classic L'Oreal Voluminous, which I used to love um, a few years back, but I definitely still love it now. It's just got a standard brush, but it looks amazing on your lashes. I'm wearing it today, and I absolutely love it, and I'm really glad that I repurchased. And then I've got two Milani products, because I mentioned them in a haul, and I said that you could buy these in Poundland. So I went and they had some more, so I picked up another shade to try. But this one right here is kind of like a blush palette, and this is in Berry Glimmer. And this is what it looks like. I'm wearing it um, as a blush today. Really, really like it. The shades are really pretty, really pigmented, and I now want to try loads of other Milani products. And then this one I've been using on my eyes and as a highlighter. And this is in, mm -mm, what is this called? Honey Glimmer which is just a kind of more neutral shade and I've been wearing this as I said as a highlight on my eyes and it's really really pretty. So love those, if they're still around definitely go and pick them up. And then last but not least this is just a kind of single product but it's a representation of the whole line because I love all of these. And this is the Miner's Lux Lips Cream Gloss. I haven't got anything on my lips now because it's worn off so I'll add a little bit just to show you what it looks like. but really pigmented, really creamy, really lovely. I'm not a lip gloss fan and these have kind of brought me back into lip gloss which is quite unusual for me. Definitely, definitely pick these up. This shade is in Duchess and it's just a kind of pretty orangey coral and really, really flattering. And then last but not least, an honorary mention, one other thing that I've been loving this month who I love all the time but I also especially love this month is my boyfriend who is ill. So he's lying on the sofa right in front of me now and he's very, very poorly. He's got a sinus infection. So he said that you wanted me to mention him in the video because he wasn't feeling well and it was going to cheer him up and brighten his day. Has it cheered you up and brightened your day? Mm, yeah, you mumbled and did a thumbs up so yeah we've cheered up and brightened to stay i know you'll all be saying oh get well soon and that but there's no need hopefully by the time this video goes up he will be well by that point love you love you too so yeah that's what i've been loving this month but i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what products you've been loving this month i normally mention a youtuber i've been loving this month but i haven't discovered anybody new this month so no youtuber but i hope you enjoyed this and definitely let me know the things you've been loving and i'll see you soon bye